So I gotta replace this oil seal and this differential here. And there's a bearing in the way from sliding it in. So I don't want to replace that bearing. I want to save it because it's still good. And I can't just push it out because there's a lip right here. And that seal goes in under this lip. So I made this here. Now I gotta cut it in half like a moon and maybe shave the end so I can get it on the other side here. Set it down there like two halves and then I'm gonna jack it out. I switched out my camera there, that's a little better. See I got it cut in half now. Now you can see I gotta trim just a little bit so I can fit them down in there. And then that way it'll push all the way around the race of the bearing without damaging the needles in there. You can see what I had to shave off here to get this to fit in. And now that sits in there. I'm going to do the same to the other side and then I'll be able to jack that right out. No tapping on it, just push it out. That fit in there a lot better than I expected. So now you can see. So now I'm going to take my part of my tool pieces for the ball joint press. And then I'm going to put this in the press. Push that out. So I got the press set up here, center is the best I could. So I'm just going to jack this down here. Oh, there she goes, look. Huh? much as I can go, I might have to put another spacer in or that bearing might just fall right out. So there's what it looks like almost out. I'm going to see if I can wiggle it out. No. I'm going to flip that back over and put another spacer in and jack it out. Well, I got another spacer in there. bearing no damage I can press that right back into here after I put this new seal back in first I got to clean up all the watery gear oil that's in there and then this can all go back together with just a seal kit no new bearings